Hey guys, AMAS333 here from Not So Daily Gaming. Uh, we're back with another uh, another video here about how to install ATC Pi. So this is on Ubuntu right now, and this is it's I'm using currently the light version of Ubuntu, uh, just so I can run it in a virtual machine. So this is not my normal desktop, uh, and everything is about just about the same. Uh, basically, all you need to know is you need to have access to a terminal of some sort so this will be just fine um, and then a internet browser and that's all you need to install for uh, like Ubuntu or any sort of Linux thing you'll be able to follow along pretty easily so to begin with we'll just search Google for ATC Pi and it'll come right up uh, and we're gonna just go to the download page uh, here and so this is the latest version uh, this is the easiest way. If you want to do it through Git or otherwise, uh, look at the installation guide. So if you look for ATC Pi install, uh, if you search for that, there's this installation guide uh, that has tells you how to get do a uh, Git repository and that sort of thing. Uh, but we're just downloading it here, um, and we're gonna go ahead and save this file. Uh, so it'll download it. There we go, and we're gonna go ahead and open that and then we're going to extract that and let's just move that to the desktop for easy access so we'll let that do that uh, and that's all you need there so now we have this folder uh, that has a couple things in it now number one you're gonna wanna do is open the readme uh, and that gives you a whole bunch of information here so it tells you okay so here is how to install them so to begin with we need python 3 and we need a pyqt uh, uh, 5.2 or higher and it gives you all the information here it also says here's everything you need to download so very simple here all we are going to do is um, go like so so we're just gonna copy this one so right click and then copy and then we're gonna go sudo apt install or you can do we'll do apt get install install and then paste that in there install python 3 I'm gonna type in my password um, there we go so it's already been installed to the latest version which is above the 0.3 to 3.3 required we'll go ahead and install this one so we'll again just do up and then we can just I guess type it in uh, qt5 and so it's gonna say hey do you want to install this stuff we'll just click yes It'll install it all. Doop 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 doo. Doing just fine. There it is. Okay, now we're gonna install the next one. Uh, and I'm using the up and down arrow to switch between the most recent used commands. Uh, now we'll install QT multimedia. Oops. Media. Okay. And we'll just click yes. Meanwhile, while it's doing that, we'll copy this one. Copy, okay. Uh, sudo apt install. Uh, oops, doll, and then you know, that, and then we'll say yes, please. Okay, uh, and we're not going to install speech recognition again. It just says all you need to do is install this, and install that. Um, you, I think you might need to install these, uh, but it just install Python three pip, and then install those. Uh, and you can also, it shows you how to uh, install the rest of it, gives some very good details. So, all we're going to do, uh, and so now I think we're, we're good to go, so we'll go ahead and pr uh, type cd, so change directory and then the space, and then we'll just copy this, and then if I do control shift feet, and we'll go in there, and then we can do dot slash uh, atc dash pi dot py, and give it a second it, it does expect a couple different things but it's fine and it should boot up in just a second because those are all warnings there it is so it looks a little different uh, because I'm on a different version of Ubuntu uh, but I can still do KSFO find it just fine and give it one second again I'm using I'm not using my own computer uh, and so it'll be a little different, but there you go, and you have all the things you should have. We can say, hey, let's look at a radar screen, and then there's a radar screen. 
with all the stuff for radar. I have everything you would normally. We can make this full screen, ideally. There we go. Everything you would for normally controlling ATC Pi. It's that simple. Um, again, to reiterate, it looks a little different on mine because it's a virtual machine, but we can just exit it like normal. Just fine. You can also do Python ATC dash pi dot py uh, and it doesn't like me so what that lesson should be is that you shouldn't do just python you can do dot slash atc pi dash py but don't do python atc pi py and that should hopefully save you um, for whatever reason it doesn't like that uh, doing it on Python, but this is the easy way to do it. Um, configuring, again, it tells you everything you need to know. Again, if you want to use the user guide, anything like that, if we just simply copy that and go over here, paste that in, we get a nice user guide about how to do things. Um, plenty of information. So, I hope you enjoy. Uh, this video and hopefully it helps you figuring out how you can uh, run ATC Pi on your own computer. It really is quite simple. That took less than five minutes from start to end uh, and if you already have it downloaded and everything it'll be even faster and then downloading all this stuff. So hopefully that was straightforward. If not, let me have you any questions. Um, I am not the author of ATC Pi, to be very clear on that. It's, I believe his name is Michael, I'm, I'm spacing on his last name, but he is amazing at providing user support. So definitely, if you're having trouble, go to the forms. Don't, I can solve some simple questions uh, down in the comments below, but definitely go to the forms and ask the questions that, so for instance, if you run into this, uh, I might actually talk to him about this if I remember. Um, if Or if he sees this, hey, that's a problem. <laughs> uh, and I'd be very grateful if you could flick, fix it. But talk to him, and he will definitely be more than willing to help you uh, with that. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.